Health is finally seeing the light and then giving us thousands of food. So we're going to try and pull up the market soon. Yeah. Everyone get ready. Bravo. Um, because those stores, those stores are like charging people. And they charge five bucks on welfare Wednesday. Well, I mean, Mon Blue charges two bucks. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they pay 56 cents for each chair. Yeah. Can you believe Mon Blue charges Well, the, poor, the Washington New yeah. Depot was until a couple of days ago, we were selling pipes and lighters non profit for 50 cents a pipe, 25 a lighter. Um, yeah, well, that's that Bible you Bandu is two bucks. Yeah. yeah, that campaign's over now because the free ones are almost here. So, yeah. so, so, so they have uh, a kind of opening a place that people can smoke crack. It doesn't have far enough. No. You know, the, part, the police is following them. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's happening. Nah, it's like, nah, it's not. Nah, it's like, nah, it's like, maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe. And nobody wants to be in a place where they smoke. They want to fly like a bird. You know? Yeah. We want to work there. <laughs> okay, let's talk about physically the act of, uh, of picking up users. Yeah. Um, safety, safety, safety. We always wear gloves when we're out in the alley. Yeah. Uh, you always want to have proper footwear. You don't want to be wearing sandals. A lot of guys be amazed. They show up wearing their flip flops, get ready for an alley. Sorry, you have to go home and put your shoes on, my friend. Um, just for the weather, you know, it's going to be raining. Like, we provide a raincoat if we need it, but um, we expect each pair to, you know, take care of themselves a little bit, right? Um, so when it comes to physically picking up a needle, I prefer these. No one should ever be using your hands. I know, I mean, the only time is if you're just 100% sure that you can see everything and that you're not putting yourself in any danger at all. Right? Sometimes you need those two pairs. Right? But I mean, these are what you use. You come across a needle. Um, a lot of the guys have been carrying this over their shoulder the proper way. I mean, you should every time, you should have this container off on the ground and the needle. Peer to peer and shish. I do that. Yep, and that's the best practice. I mean, it doesn't get any safer than that, right? Um, we, all, we all kind of know the reality of how it really happens out there. Of course, being hell, I did a couple of shifts up there, and the good thing we didn't have to pick up too many because to take it that takes off, a long time. To take that off every time. So anyway, one day there, I had enough slack that I put it. There's a four-inch pipe between me and my container, right. and it still got reprimanded for mm -hmm. not taking it off. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't even allowed to pick up rigs for the longest time. You're not even allowed to pick up rigs. Bad boy. See, you learned your lesson? No. No. Uh, no. <laughs> 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 yeah. So you know, now, I understand that the new coach of health is overriding in Washington now. Is that true? That's no. strong wording. Uh, no. We're accountable. No. Portland. It's still Portland. Yeah. You can't understand, but that group of hell is much more strict. They can't do that. They have to. 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 Quick, quick question about uh, multiple uh, needles. Sometimes you see this whole bunch of crap, and there's needles here, there, and everywhere. You spend 20 minutes uh, taking them out, then you see some guy with a shovel coming by in the truck, and you just shovel them away. And you're wondering, why did I just spend 20 minutes doing that? Kind of the crap. I mean, is there situations where you should just leave it alone? Is it situations when you should attack it? It's all about your safety. If yes. It's, if it's not safe for you to be digging through the garbage, then don't. Yeah. But it doesn't make sense when the guys come along for shovel and put it in the truck and they come well, by. Well, they're not, they're not, you're doing everybody. I mean, if it's safe for you and you can get as many needles out of that trash can as you can, that's good. Yeah. Right? I mean, those needles are going to end up in the landfill, right? But yeah. We know. The guys who don't give a shit what they're doing, right? Some of the hotel managers, they're just... I'm talking about city guys. guys. Yeah, city guys, I know. Right 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 the 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 yeah. 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 And what happens to the uh, old ones? The needles? Yeah. They're incinerated. Burn. Really? Oh, yeah. That can't be good for the environment. Sorry, I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> there's no other way to, yeah. to, to I guess. dispose of them. Um, there is an urban myth out there. Please tell me if anyone's heard about the two dots. Two dots? The two dots on the rig. Oh, yeah. Oh, Anybody? God. Anybody? I don't know if I have one here, but some of the syringes. Okay, here's one. They have these two black dots near the orange tip. Two little black dots. Someone came in, 
the depot the other day. And they said, that means this needle is on its second run. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> so this person thinks you for two needles are being oh my God. <laughs> steamed. A new uh -huh. tip is being put on, and they're being oh, redistributed, repackaged, and redistributed. That's great. <laughs> Um, the, reason for the, the reason for the two dots is a manufacturing marking. Okay, so say the manufacturer has three machines. Machine one has no not no dot. Machine two has one dot. Machine three has two dots. If there is a if there is a breakdown, a malfunctioning machine or rig, they know which machine. I wanted to mention something that not even has to do with this. It has to do with HIV. I heard on the news that. They have, they're coming up with this new cure or something where they could use your own your own cells, your, your own stem cells to actually um, uh, fight off the HIV in your own system. So maybe someday there's going to be a cure. Real soon. That is. They'll find it in the disease Very. Let's just finish up about some sweet stuff, okay? So uh, we've gone over the safe practice of putting the needle in the container. Um, I mean, that's the safest way, right? Um, if you guys are doing it a different way, which I know happens in the real world, Make it as safe for you as possible. Okay. Yeah. If you have a partner and you have your bag, your sharp container slung over your shoulder, and that's the way you're going to do it. And I can't watch you every minute, and you're going to do it that way. Just communicate with your partner. If your partner's coming with rigs, you make sure he tells you rig coming. You know, common sense kind of stuff. You just got to stay safe. Right? Um, Good practice. Well, even if you run ah, into, no. yeah. <laughs> even if you run into a garbage that's dumped, right, and there's needles all over, pick them up. Don't just walk by. Yeah. You know, pick them up. Somebody dumped them already, and I just say, I mean, you know, yeah, this species I like to have needles too. Right? Pair of gloves in my pocket. And the that needles kind of are secure. Jump, pick them up, pick them up. I mean. Well, I know a lot of people that don't. Well, it depends. Is there feces involved, right? Yeah, there's feces yeah. involved. People yeah. don't like doing that. Yeah. Yeah. But I do it all the time. Well, that's, that's, your, that's your call. That's you, you can't ask people to dig through shit. Like you said, like oh, yeah. you're I'm here. here. I'm here. I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. Okay, so after we've picked up needle one, we want to keep track of that. So um, I'm sorry, I don't have a full size map, but. For an example, this is where we use the needle depot. This is kind of our catchment area. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I mean, approximately we go east to Hawks and then west to. So you can even manage to even know who is using that place at what time and when. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm only saying. I'm only saying. Yeah. Do you like to say that when you're using? Oh, oh you guys are watching. So I mean, after you're familiar with it, says every street name on here, but if you say you were on the Alley Patrol and you got through block whatever, let's say it was this block, Cordova, near Carroll, and you finished the block and you, at the end of the block, you encountered 18 names. So you want to indicate within this block on this form, 18. And, you know, that gets put into an Excel sheet and that gets forwarded to Postal Health. Postal Health then goes 18 needles on the 14th of June in that back alley. They keep track of all that stuff. So. It's very important when you do pick up your needles that you indicate where and when. It's cool, but it's also dangerous. You know? hmm? it's, it's cool. I mean, it's a good controlling, but also it can be other hands infiltrated in doing something like that. You know, uh, statistical on how many people we use and how many use and what are they use more. Right. Statistics can okay, fall into the wrong hands. People who are in favor of your program, they can, you know, they can be used against you, but. Um, it's more benefiting the people that are using it. Just tell the truth. Yeah, oh yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Are those stats used to like, um, help you decide where to drop off? Like, uh, the stats are used in combined with the like, uh, the Postal Health Center and the Postal Health Center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, is in conjunction with all the other groups who pick up needles, mm -hmm. we get together and we go, who's finding what, where, and what time? Okay. Are we doing too much at one time here? 
Is four people doing the same area at this time here? To find more predator ways. Yeah. Yeah. To uh, maximize, you know, yeah. the efforts of everyone. You don't want to duplicate too many services, right? So we're all in contact with each other, and this just helps everyone understand what the trends are, where the hotspots are. You know? um, Yes, we want to